lounging, son. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan. And today, I'm going to be talking about the best way to read Mad Men by Mike Allred. But before I get into that, I just want to say thank you to everybody that is already subscribed to the channel. We appreciate all your views, your likes, and your comments. But if you are not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. You'll see other dope videos like this. We got interviews, go through hardcovers, artist editions, single issues, indie creators, big name creators, um, all sorts of good stuff. So check out the channel, subscribe, and now let's get into the Mad Maniverse Library Edition by Dark Horse. This is the first volume. Uh, there is currently, I believe, five out of, and there's going to be six when it's all said and done. Not going to take too much time to spotlight the actual stories in here so much as i just want to kind of flip through it and you know show off some of the stuff this is the best way to read madman um i believe uh and it's you know this is as as it says on the back of the book book as a, as it says that this is uh over this is over 600 pages this is where the madman comics universe begins and this is the first time that madman's debut series has been presented in color what better way to experience this than in a deluxe oversized hardcover format man and it's going to collect you know this particular volume collects everything from 1990 to 1996 even reprinting for the record the original madman series one through three madman adventures one through three madman comics one through two and Mike Allred's never before published first 40 comics called They. And we got some bonus pinups by the likes of Frank Miller, Jack Kirby, Mobius, Frank Rosetta, and more. So this is a hefty tomb. Like I said, it's over 600 pages. And again, I think it's the best way to read Madman. Um, I am also a proponent for always getting the original format, the single issues. And that is why I will be diving into those things separately. But in my opinion... The best way to see art is how it was drawn, which is usually bigger than this, right? 11 by 17 on art boards. But this is the next best thing, getting an oversized hardcover. I'm a huge fan of the library editions Dark Horse puts out. They're phenomenal. To me, they're like tied with uh, DC's Absolute Edition. So, which I hope that someday DC will do an Absolute Edition of Mike Allred's Superman Space Age. That would be sick. But, you know, we open up. With a pinup of Darwin Cook, and then we get some real early all red stuff, dude. And you can see like the mixed media, super cool. And this is the beginning, this is the birth of Madman. Definitely different from what we know, we've come to know. We got a Richard Sala pinup, very cool, dude. But it's so cool to see, you know, his stuff very early on. You know, I this is the first time I had read this particular story. So it's very cool to see kind of what it morphs into. And then we get the Madman miniseries that was originally just, I believe, if I remember correctly, you know, it was just two colors. And like it says, the first time it's been colored, this was originally published by Tundra. And he had this really cool thing that he did in these three issues where it's a flip. It's a flip book. So you get that, added that into these two, which is really cool. Sergio Aragonis. I, lo I love his comic books, dude. There's, I, I was saying it on the interview that I did with him recently that, you know, I see his art and I just, like, this pure feeling of joy washes over me. All his comic books. I mean, for, I connected from the minute I first checked out his stuff. So, very cool to see this colored for the first time. I don't have all three issues, but, you know, as soon as I can get, you know, the full set, definitely want to do an episode going through those. What's really cool to think is that while, you know, Mike usually has his wife, Laura, coloring this stuff, on these three issues, it's Laura that lettered and that colored. So very cool to see a full family affair to reproduce these issues. Um, Laura Allred is my, got to be my favorite colorist in comics. I just, I, I love her coloring. And that's cool, too, to see how, you know, as technology has kind of improved and the print quality of the of paper um, that comics are printed on, you can see the difference of like how much her colors pop nowadays on everything. Her Silver Surfer stuff, the ecstatic stuff, all the stuff she does with Mike, super cool. It's such a great origin story for Frank Einstein, you know? A mix of Frank Sinatra and Albert Einstein. And that's the alter ego. So really love that. And then we get into, this is one of my favorite covers. 
Got a pinup by Jack Kirby right here. Super sick. This is the Mobius pinup issue two. Heavy hitters, dude, that he gets. Crazy to think that he broke onto the scene, you know, like, and he kind of stayed indie for the most part. Obviously, like, he's gone on to do a lot of stuff with Marvel DC, but he really made his bones doing his own character, his own work. There's so much heart in it. I love that these make you think, right? Like, they're not just surface level stuff. Like, the character of Frank Einstein, you can see, like, you know, that so much... Mike puts so much of himself in his in his work, and in, especially in the stuff that he's writing as well. And it, and it goes on to become such an amazing series. I mean, I think it was Volume 4 I recently read where experiments with all the art style, you know, different art styles. And he's always doing that. He's always leveling up his art. That old Tundra logo. If you don't know what Tundra is, Tundra was Kevin Eastman, the co-creator of Ninja Turtles. That was his publishing imprint that lasted for a very brief time. And then... Eventually, Madman, I think, I believe, made its way over to Kitchen Sink Press, and I, and then Dark Horse, Image, and it, right now it's currently, or at least these books, at least, have been published at uh, Dark Horse, and he did uh, AAA Pop, which is his imprint, his company. Frank Miller did sick. So you can see the difference too in the coloring, right? Like from this, from the stuff that's just recently been colored to some of the older stuff. Such a great storyteller. Like not only is he a fantastic like artist just with his own style unique style but makes you laugh too i love the facial expressions he does you got frank with his girl joe watching their relationship span over the past like 30 years too has been really cool over almost 40 years i believe this is about 40 years right this series has been going strong for over 30 years it's so cool to see that you know like he never he never abandons his character for long. He'll jump back and forth doing other projects. As he said in our interview, he's got a ton of stories. I love this Jeff Smith. This isn't just a pinup, but it's a comic page. Very cool. And just a fun, like, sci you know, got dinosaurs. He goes against monsters. You know, just very fun sci-fi superhero character that can kind of get put into any kind of situation, which is I really love. You know, like, one day he could be fighting aliens. The next he's fighting dinosaurs robots dude i love when he does this like weird dreamlike stuff and he had mentioned too like in our in our interview that he has the most vivid dreams so now like as i'm going through this looking back on it i'm always gonna wonder was this something that he saw in a dream because some of this stuff like the imagination that he has is like next level and the way he describes the dreams he has like so vividly and so detailed this is the Mad Men number one that when it went to dark horse there we go there's the frank frazetta piece absolutely phenomenal if you have never read Mad Men, if you've heard of it you're on the fence you never picked it up i would say it's worth dipping in picking up this beautiful hard Raphael grandpa over here it's the most fun you'll have Reading comic books, hands down. Matt, Gr Matt Groening. I mean, look at it. Look at the. I mean, it could, you can just tell based on the talent he lures to come work on his, on the pinups, and that people that want to be a part of it, legends, you know. And he himself has become a legend. So many cool, cool projects that he's worked on. Got a Bruce Tim pinup, and then I love these few issues where you know he's gonna cross over with Hellboy, and then we're gonna get. Rusty and Robo and Big uh, Robot over here. We get a Dave Johnson pinup. So really cool to see him kind of making the rounds and crossing over with some of his fellow Dark Horse characters. I love this too. So sick, dude. Charles Burns. I mean, come on, dude. So good. Got that Jim Rugg pinup. So I love this too. So yeah, I mean, like again, I could probably just keep flipping it and pointing out different things on these pages, but it is a beautiful hardcover. The best way to read Madman, besides reading the single issues, and I'd argue sometimes that maybe this this is the way I would choose, even if I didn't already own it. Alex Ross cover, Seth. So, Dan, Dan Klaus. I mean, come on. Let me get Steve Martin in here. <laughs> So funny. 
Madman is easily one of the greatest indie creations ever, in my in my opinion. And I think I'm not alone in saying that. Mike Allred is one of the greatest cartoonists of his generation and continues to put out some of the best comic books that are published. And whether it's his covers that he does or, you know, when he dips in and does some Marvel DC stuff, he's always doing cool shit. Got a McFarlane pinup. We got a Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba. Gilbert Hernandez. Jaime Hernandez. Dave Cooper. Look at this stuff, dude. Michael Even Oming, Paul Pope, Eric Powell, Frank Quitely, Art Adams, another Art Adams, Raphael Albuquerque, Brian Bolin, Dan Barrington, John Byrne, Frank Cho, another Frank Cho, and Aaron Conley. Um, fantastic book. This isn't the last time you'll be seeing Madman on the channel. I want to spend more time going through specific issues but i did want to just briefly you know mention this beautiful beautiful collection five of them are out sixth one on the way go pick these up check out the rest of the stuff on the channel make sure you like follow subscribe hit that bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid drops and on, and on that note i'm out